Hello guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on displaying the user list on browser. In this lecture, we will display an HTML form for searching user. However, we will keep this form non-functional for this lecture. I mean, you cannot perform search operation using this form. We will do that in next lecture. So let's start implementing the static search form for now. Okay, so open the index.html.trb from AppViews home. So here you can see that this is the template that we implemented uh, in the last lecture. Okay, and now what we need to do that first we need to create a card element on the top of the user's grid. Okay, so uh, come to this uh, division class and on the top of this row class, what we need to do, we need to implement a card element. So div class, then card. Okay, and in this card, what we can add, let's say MT4, MB4. Okay, and then add the card body class inside this card. Okay, so let's add div class card body. Card body, okay. And inside this card body, we need to use the input group component from bootstrap. So input group components are the component that easily extend form controls by adding text buttons or button groups on either side of the textual input. Okay, custom selects and custom file inputs. Okay, by the way, I would like to tell you that in this search, we will allow the search users by country and city attributes if you want to add more search attributes like search by name email and so on so you can do that as well but i'm using only city and country here later we will see how we can add search for composite attributes as well so here what we need to do that first we need to add a division class inside this card body and add class input group to this division so div class and add input group here Okay, and then add MB3 and close this div. Okay, now inside this div, we first need to define our HTML input element. Okay, so define an input element of type text. So input type text. And here we need to as class as well. So class form control, sorry, outside this text class form control okay and then we need to use placeholder like what message you want to display in the input field okay so let's add search by country or city search by country or city okay and then we need to add some area attributes so area label so we can use this same uh, search by country or city and then add area described by area described by okay and sorry area described by and here add the input class that is in button add on to Okay, and this button add on to will be the button that we attached to this input element. Okay, now add a button class here. So, sorry, button element. So, button and then add class. Here we can add button, button primary. Okay, and then add type button. Make it an ID. Let's say ID and button add on to. and then here we can use search okay now let me again tell you something that what we are using here area described by button add on to okay so whatever you use in the area described by inside an input group input element you need to provide the same id to your button element or any control element that you want to write here okay so now we implemented this static form so save the file and go to the browser and when you refresh your root page you will see this uh, uh, search form on the browser okay however what we can do here that we can simply add some message about the uh, input group like a search uh, professionals from throughout across the world or anything so let's do that so what we can do here we can just add uh, let's say an h3 element here class 
class fw bold or let's say class text center okay and we can add and also add mb3 and then add search professionals across the world uh, let's fix this type or across okay now save this and when you refresh the page you will see a better form now so here you can see search professional across the world okay and here you can see search by country or city so now in the next lecture we will make this search form dynamic and we will convert this uh, a static html form to a range sex search form okay and then we will allow users to search any professional by their city or country okay and for this lecture that's it so here what we did we implemented an empty and static html search form that we will convert with range sex search form in the next lecture okay meanwhile try this lecture at your end and we will meet into another lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe